right, what is up everybody? It's Glenn. I'm out here at Ben's farm and we are, our original plan was to do a little paracamping adventure and uh, it pretty much downpoured on us. I've got my van here with the awning, the van, the hasty van awning set up. I got my paramotor under that just in case it rains, but I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna take off here. I think we have a, an opportunity it's a Friday evening and we're gonna take off and we might land out somewhere. I've got my uh, paramotor bug out paracamping uh, bag. I might stow that under the fuel tank and, but if not, we might just take off, fly around and come back here and land and then do some tent camping. So kind of like a proof of concept where we take off, we've got all the equipment that we need and we land and we camp out. Just kind of like maybe like a practice run for a full on paracamping adventure. Uh, our orig original plan was to fly to a grocery store, land, buy all the food that we need, take off and fly somewhere else and land and camp. So we're kind of working up to that. We'll see what happens. But it looks like the evening, uh, the afternoon or evening rain has subsided and looking at the radar we should be in the clear so we are going to send it Ben's down there he's gonna get his stuff uh, put together and we're gonna send it into the wild blue yonder see you guys in the air And now it sprinkles. So we got all our equipment here and all of a sudden now it starts to sprinkle. So we're holding off. It's currently uh, 718. So we're running out of light and it's sprinkling. So hopefully it cuts out real quick. Get a short flight in. All right, here we go. Ben's right there. I'm the first up. Looks like we're in between a small cell but the next cell won't be here till way after sunset so we're gonna get it while we can in three two one See how this wind feels. Ben is off. So far, it feels pretty stable. I'm gonna pull out the uh, Insta 360 stick with the GoPro on it because I lost my Insta 360 over Ben's field last time I flew here. Oh, there's a little bump. All right, we are rocking. It is a Friday evening and there's nothing better than being in the air after the storm. So the original plan was to fly to a grocery store and we are gonna go that way and check it out. And we were gonna land, it's about five miles to the north, well west, northwest. It's a Publix. And then Ben said there's a field right across from there where we could land at and go in, get food. And then the original plan was to fly somewhere remote and land and camp. But daylight ran out today. It's 7.40, we don't have much time. So we're just gonna go probably recon this area for the grocery store for future references. For some reason, I brought my camera, my Fujifilm, thinking I would get some cool footage, but I believe that the air is a little too bumpy for that. Definitely a tailwind here. Definitely a tailwind. There's Ben. Let's see how his wing looks. The slightly trashy air. Got the uh, beautiful 
Charlotte skyline in the background. Wow, this is amazing. Let's see. All right, I haven't flown with my camera in a very, very long time. We're doing a bit of a crab here. So I'm gonna pull this out. And come back down. See, my stick is in the way. We're moving to stills. This crab is serious. <laughs> and it sure don't help with the stick in the way, this GoPro out on this stick. Trying to film with a mirrorless camera that has interchangeable lenses with a stick out is not a good idea, but I haven't flown with this thing in a long time. For some reason, I forgot the strap, so I'm not dropping this thing. <laughs> I got a few photos. Mission accomplished. It's time to put this bad boy away. This thing costs too much to drop. XT4, see ya. Wow, this this crab is serious. Whoa. It's like going nowhere this way. So hopefully we can crab it on back the whole way. Uh-oh, somebody got pulled over. Okay. So I think the Publix, oh, I see it. So the field that he was talking about is right here. You see where those cops are? Right across the street. So we would have to land in that field and walk all the way over to Publix, way over there, to get food. But wow, the air actually smoothed out a lot. But I also feel like it changed directions coming from the north right now. But there's the field, Publix is over there. In the case that we were unable to fly to a grocery store and land and get food, I did bring some steaks. So I'm gonna show Ben, good old Ben tonight, how to cook up a good old Pittsburgh style steak on the cast iron that I always have in my van. That, I have a cast iron skillet that is parked and lives inside my van. And I'm gonna show good old Ben here that Pittsburgh style he's never had before. <laughs> ben just texts me, he says, I don't want to land police. I agree. I don't think that's a good idea either, Ben. Wow, look at that Charlotte skyline, baby. Amazing, I wish we could go fly over there. So, I also, I did get new batteries for my stick. My GoPro on my stick, so hopefully uh, that lasts for a while. Don't forget to check out my video about the all day long GoPro helmet battery. You see that thing? It's amazing. It never dies. So I'm just really looking forward to uh, camping out. And I did bring my tent. I'm not camping in the van tonight. We're gonna camp. We're gonna do some tent camping, some good old country cooking, and just enjoy the great outdoors. Because most of the time, you know, you go fly, you get to see all this wild, all this wildness. And then you gotta go home and sleep in a bed. Well, I wanna stay the night, do the wild thing. I wanna be wild. Oh yeah, here's the outer 485. We are smoking. Smoking, baby. Wow, I, you know what? 
I want to say something. I want to say something to my wife. When I left the house today at like 5.30, it was pouring down rain. And she said, you're crazy. You're crazy. You ain't going to fly today. She don't sound like that, but you're not going to fly today. And I'm like, you know what? You just watch because I get lucky. I get lucky and I had a feeling. I had a feeling that it was going to go away and Ben and I were going to be okay and have this amazing, beautiful flight here. And look, it rained. And look at it now. So, the lesson there is to always be patient and to always have faith. And to trust your intuitions. This feels so weird. Ben's right in front of me. We're going that way, and I'm almost like facing him with this crab. Next weekend is the reveal. Holly and I went to the doctor earlier this week, and we had our ultrasound number three. Everything is good, but we don't know the gender. The doctor put it in an envelope, gave it to us. I'm giving that over to Ben today, tonight, with some smoke. He's got five blue smokes, five pink smokes. I don't know what it is. You leave a comment in the section below what you think it is. I don't know. I have no idea. But I can't wait to find out if Ben is going to fly over with that smoke at his farm. He's nice enough to put on a show for us to let us know what Baby Tupper is going to be. I have no idea. And you know what? I don't really care as long as that baby comes out of my wife's belly fat and healthy. That's all I care about. And I cannot wait. Can't wait. All right. So we're going to get out this uh, speed bar. I want to get a good shot of Ben here so I can maneuver myself around.
I'm gonna show you how to cook on a cast iron. <laughs> that was fun, man. <laughs>